Hey, Greg guys here, short video, short. I just realized I haven't done a video of um, removing the sliding door on a combi. So this is gonna be an unedited video that I'll load straight to uh, YouTube. So what we've got to do first in the whole scheme of things is to remove this cover strip. That's what these are called, cover strip. They go over the tracks. So you'll find a screw under here. That one was a flathead, which no one really uses anymore. And um, This one, there's one under there as well. You gotta actually pop the door open a bit to gain access to it under there. And some, some models, some models have a screw in behind there, all right, that holds the top of this cover strip in. This one doesn't have one. And what you'll find is, that on the other side here will be a, uh, an indentation and it'll have a screw there um, and you can undo it from the inside there. So once your cover strip, once your cover strip is ready to go, then get a soft mallet. As Andrew is showing, that just gets tapped up. If your combi's never been done up and it's been there for 40 years, it's gonna give you a bit of a fight, it's gonna be crusty. You could always spray a bit of um, WD-40 or something to let it soak soak in the channel. Right, so that took us all of a couple of minutes because this thing's been done before. This this car's been done up, so it was already, already loose. So once you got that off, and see this here with your, your guide roller there, See that roller sits over the channel. You gotta slide it until it comes out here. So, hey, oh, I never thought this through. Um, I'm back, not sure what happened. I, I was stiff, stuffing around with the phone and I, I switched it off. So, but I'm pretty sure we're up to here. So now we'll just go roll this back. Andrew's gonna show you one-handed, and no, I'll be able to do it with one hand. No. So you just slide this back, right, and then lift it up out of the groove there. Now it's got to come out. Hang on, hang on. Now it's got to. You got to lean it down to get it out of there, and then it just pulls out the side. Definitely easier with two people, but there you go. Zero damage. I've seen some wild footage online of people undoing all that stuff on the bottom don't do all that just leave it all intact um, we've got to do some rust repairs on the bottom of this door so I just thought we'd show you so all up that has taken us a couple of minutes so um, easy peasy don't make it hard on yourself the only time you'll have trouble is getting that cover strip off that should take longer than actually pulling the door off takes 30 seconds there you go put it back on Oh, well, okay, challenge accepted. Let's see how to refit the door. Oh, strong man. So, first of all, you want to get that in. You probably need to give it a... No, he's not quite there. Give it a nudge with the knee. Yes. He's hooked that around in there. Now, hold the door on an angle. Get that in there. And back there. Oh. Just gonna make sure the wheel itself is on the tracks and the guide block is there. How is that? One person, heavy door. With two people, it's easier because you can pop this out and someone holds the weight here and another person does that end. But uh, there you go. Don't make it hard on yourself. Do it that way. Goodbye.